All right, now apparently it's not okay to be gay in Pennsylvania. If that is, you want to be in the state house. That's according to Republican State Senator John H. Eichelberger Jr., who is quoted saying the following about his openly gay and Republican colleague Mike Fleck. Quote, if Fleck had just gone about his business and people thought he was a homosexual or heterosexual or whatever, there wouldn't be a problem. And don't worry, don't worry this, uh, this gets better. Eckelberger had more to say. He said, quote, a lot of people thought that Mike was a homosexual. He didn't announce it and it was okay. The feeling for many people is he put them in a very uncomfortable position by coming out. You know, just, just be gay on your own time, people, right? Forget about uh, being honest or open or true to yourself. Now, for his part, Fleck, who has served since 2006 and came out in 2012, said the following, I am gay, I don't wear it on my sleeve, it doesn't define who I am, and quite frankly, it's the least interesting part about me. Nevertheless, I knew that when I came out, this race would be nothing more, nothing less than whether my constituency could wrap their mind around the fact that I was a gay man. People fear that which is different. Now, Jason Fleck is likely to lose re-election, but where do we start with this whole back and forth? Well, hey, maybe it would have been easier if he had not openly announced that he was gay. But, I mean, it's just the, the silliness that's underneath here is crazy to me. It's like uh, <laughs> the situation is that, like, oh, people knew he was, he was gay, but as long as he didn't come out and say it, they keep voting for him. And that's just, it's just, people can't live their lives that way. And certainly not this, this, this guy he couldn't live his life that way. So he, he, took, the, he took the chance. And, uh, and it may not redound to his benefit in terms of re-election. And uh, for that, I feel, I, I feel bad for the guy. Um, it's perhaps, though, uh, one, one thing we could say is that, you know, the future is going to be a lot different for people in his position, a lot different. Uh, and, you know, if what he did, you know, may make life easier for the next person in his position, uh, maybe, maybe that guy can point back to uh, Representative Fleck and say, you know, he took, he took the shot, he, he threw a block, uh, you know, he was one of those barrier breakers, and, he, and he, he ended up being bruised by it, but he paved the way for a, a greater justice. Uh, you know, maybe we can remember him that way. Um, yeah, speak like he's going to die. He's not. He's just going to. You know, <laughs> no, but you you make a very good point. But, I mean, certainly at this at this point in time, it still is. Uh, it still is not the most common thing to yeah. see politicians come out as openly gay. And so, you know, it is it is a brave move, and I'm with you there in saying that. Uh, you know, that's something that I commend Fleck for doing.